EasyMont.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. All right, guys, we're back. Top 10 safeties straight and to the point. So I just did a top 10 wide receivers. Go check that out. That video is up right now. And yes, if you were looking for that kind of content, it is definitely on the channel. I have top 10 pass rushers. I have top 10 budget players. I have uh, quarterback tier list. Whatever you want, it's on the channel. So check it out. Now let's get started here. Merton Hanks is not top 10. Well, he's going to be good at a jump ball at 6'2 with zone. But what is he missing? He's missing man KOs. He's missing 90 man. He's missing strength, hit power. His traits aren't the best. He does not throw hit sticks. He's not against the run. good against the run. He has bad block shed. And he does not tackle very well. So let's keep it moving. Up next is Terry. 90 player. You like to see it. But he doesn't get 90 man. And well, his tackling's not the best. He does not throw hit sticks by himself. And he's under 200 pounds. So is he usable? Yes. Is he top 10? No. Jeremy Chen is here. Six foot three. I like this guy in the jump ball situation and zone. But he does not get 90 man. And well, he does not have good head power. He's really bad against the run. Getting off blocks. This guy is pretty bad. He does not throw hit sticks. He has bad traits. So that being said, depending on what you're going to use him for, uh, if you need somebody to play man and play in the box to block shit people, you're going to hate this card. Jones is next. Not having 90 player records this card back. Not having 90 man. He does have good hit power. He does throw hit sticks. So it depends on what you guys are looking and for your safety. What do you want? If you want somebody that's going to be good in the box, this guy's going to be terrible. He has bad block shed. So just keep that in mind. But yes, in the zone scheme, he's going to be fine. And something about this card you may not know is he does not really get that many great discounts. I, I think that really missing man KOs is not going to be good. He doesn't get no discounts for like pick artists for one, so keep that in mind. Up next is Brian Branch, not getting 90 player, but he does get 90 man, 90 zone. So he'll, he's going to do pretty well in the scheme of things. Uh, he does have good hit power, but he does not throw hit sticks by himself. So keep that in mind. He's also not a good against the run. I would definitely not put him in the box. He does not even shed wide receivers very well. So keep that in mind. He does get man KOs. So if you're running around zone KOs, this will not be your guy. And yeah, he does get pick artists for two. But yes, he is only six foot. He likes him to be a little bit bigger. But let's keep it moving. Up next, we do have Phillips. And Phillips is going to be a pretty good safety with pretty solid speed, really. And I wish he was bigger, but he does have 90 player, 90 man, 90 zone. So he's going to react well in coverage. And yes, he's horrible against the run and he does not throw hit sticks. So that kind of holds this card back. But in coverage, guys, he's going to surprise you. Actually, he plays intelligent. I do like this card in coverage. It's not against the run and really not trying to throw a hit stick with him. There's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to get there in time to try to challenge for the ball. So you want to want to hit stick. And this guy really doesn't have much power. Dawkins is next. And yes, this card is still good. Six foot. He doesn't get the 90 player, but he does get the 90 man, 90 zone. I am higher on the list than others because he gets at least an 85 threshold at Blockhead with the 87. And he has good hit power. He throws hit sticks. You can put him free safety. He can play man or zone. I do like that. And yes, so what does that mean? It means he can get man KOs and zone KOs. So he can fit any team, but it's really going to separate him from the other cards we've been talking about. Because this guy can get KOs in both coverages. So with that being said, Brian Dawkins is really good. Up next, we got Rodney Lott. This guy here, I wish his acceleration was a little bit better, but he does have 90 man, 90 zone. Block shed nice, hit power's nice, and his traits are good. You put him at cornerback or strong safety, which is sweet. And yes, you guessed it, he gets man and zone KOs, pick artists, all of that. This guy here is all over the place. He plays well for me. He's on my team right now. And yes, I'm keeping him. He's just fine. Go get him. Ward is so good in coverage with his speed, his play rec, and his thresholds here. I will say he has hit power. Just remember, he does not throw his sticks by himself. You can move him around the free safety and corner, which is pretty big. Uh, he does tackle well, especially you put him at corner. He's a really good corner attack for 
that can actually make a tackle for you. And Zone KOs is where he's going to shine, right? So putting Zone KOs is really going to help this card. And yes, well, what's wrong with this card? It's going to be his height, right? He's not going to be the best against the jump ball. And his block shed's really bad against the run. If you need a safety in the box, please go get Sean Taylor. This is who you need in the box, guys. You want to look at this. Over 90 blocks. So he's in the highest threshold. Means he's going to get the best animations. And he has crazy hit power with a great trait. He will throw hit sticks. He put him at strong safety as well. And yes, he does play well in zone. I wish his play rec was 90. It is not. But he has good speed. So depending on what you want, if you need a guy to play zone and in a box, he's going to be pretty good for you. He does get a good discount. Pick artist is super important. And... You're going to get it for one AP cheaper, which is going to matter. His price is not bad at all. So if you're looking for the box, go get Sean Teller. He's going to be great in the box with the hit power and the block. So this guy's going to be the exact opposite, okay? Depends what you want. He's going to be really bad against the run. He does not tackle very well. I played against him. He, he, <laughs> and he's missed a couple of tackles. I thought it was funny. But uh, he does play well, man, in zone. He does have good play wrecks. So this guy is good in coverage. But just remember, he is small, and if he's getting a jump ball like against like Mac Hollins, he's gonna get just mossed. So keep that in mind. He does get a pretty good zone KO here for a discount, which does matter. But however, he is over one million coins. But this is not the best budget list, so I don't list on price. I list on uh, like how effective they are. Just remember, this guy is not gonna fit your team if you're trying to stop a jump ball in the red zone. With that being said, he's going to be good in coverage, but bad in other spots. Keenan Allen is coming tomorrow. They got a set coming out that's going to help, like not just be a money grab, which is going to be good because, well, you can actually just put some of your old cards and get a new one, and that should help his price come down quite a bit. With that being said, 90 man, 90 zone at six foot two. This guy is going to get crazy abilities because he's going to meet those thresholds as to what you're going to want. But he's not going to throw hit sticks and have hit power and tackle the best. But I will say, in a jump ball and man in coverage, he's going to do pretty well. You're going to be really more, a lot more confident with him than like Isaiah because of his height. And the guy's throwing a jump ball, or I felt like the deeper it gets, the more you wish he had the height out there. And this guy is going to have the height. He's going to be good. But who's next? How about Mike Evans, guys? Six foot five. He has the 90 player. He has the 90 man, the 90 zone. This guy's going to be good in coverage, but bad against the run and throwing. I mean, hit sticks are going to mean nothing with this guy. You can move him to strong safety. He gets a really good discount for pick artists. And you put man and zone KOs. That's why I got him higher on the list. So if you put his man zone KOs, his height, and his, well, thresholds here, player at man and zone, this guy is number two on the list one is going to be Palmalo. You guessed it. Speed in Excel is going to be insane. His play rec is nice. His jump is nice. Now, obviously, if you're trying to stop a jump ball, you're going to want Mike Evans in the situation. But this guy is 90 man, 90 zone. He's going to be way better against the run than Mike Evans because it's over 90 block shed and because of his ability. This ability is very effective against the run. I've already used it. So, yes. Uh, depending on run blocks, this guy is going to be the best safety in the game. If you put him in the box to get just uh, the block shed, it's going to be amazing. And then after that, he even gives you another discount. So for these right here, the abilities run the game. So this guy runs the game and crazy hit power, crazy pursuit, and block shed. You can move him to free safety, throw statistics by himself. This guy has perfect traits. I love him. Go get him. And yes, he's pretty consistent about catching the ball as well. Amazing Cod means he's going to turn with those corner routes. Go get them. That's enough for me, guys. Go check out the top 10 wide receivers I just did. I have quarterback tier list, best budget players, best card each position. All that is on the channel. Be kind to everyone. I'll see you in the next video. You enjoy NBA 2K24? Go get your VC account right now. 400 k is less than $30 when you use code CUTE for your discount. So stop gambling your money. Go get the VC you want.